will obey me. Tell your uncle. <laughs> Tell him. The North Grove must never be lost. Tell no one but him. Do you understand? You must swear. Tell only your uncle Duncan. The future of the house may depend on it. I swear that I will, my lord. Hey, uncle Duncan. It's those foreigners. Go. Oh, your honor, Telling you must do this for your house. Duncan. Go! Kill those <laughs> fucking foresters! <laughs> We love the world of rain. Lord. Fresh. That's father's car. Lord Bolton better give us fucking titles for this. Winter may be common, but at least still have his bacon. Move along, boy. There's nothing for you here. <coughs> Father. I said move on. Unless you want to get fed to the fucking pigs. I'm going to kill you. Is that so? You can try if you like. And then we'll feed you to the pigs. Get. Off. My. Land. This is Bolton land now, boy. Lord Bolton is the new Warden of the North. I reckon he'd like a proper lordly sword like that. No. I'll have that sword, boy.
Fuck. You. for this. That much I promise. <laughs> Father? Garrett! You survived. Your, your sister. She hid. What the hell's wrong with my fingers? I tried oh, to stop them. Game. I don't know if it's the way the graphics are or what. Or if my graphics are messing up. Or if it's supposed to look like that. I have no idea. I'll kill the men who did this. My dad just died. It's Garrett! Get the Castellan! Tell him his nephew survived! Garrett! I was too late. They were already dead. Bring the maester! Meet us in the Great Hall! Quickly! Two White Hill soldiers and a Bolton. They killed my family. And for what? My sister, she. She was only eight years old. This never would have happened with the Starks in power. It's unimaginable, unacceptable. You have my condolences. Thank you, Mister. Blade cut deep, but I should be able to save your leg. Your justice was swift. Some will call it vengeance. No doubt the White Hills will claim it was murder. It was your family. I can't say I would have done any different than you. I'd do it again if I had the chance. If we don't respond with strength, they won't stop until they have everything. These maggots ought to help prevent infection. Hold the wound open for me, would you? These are dark days, I fear. To lose the lord of the house and the eldest son through such a despicable act of treachery and betrayal. Greater houses than ours have fallen in times such as this. 
The late Lord Forrester was a good man. And poor Roderick. A serious man, but he would have made a good lord. Our house will never fall. By the gods, let's hope you're right. The future of this house is in Lord Ethan's hands now. Although he is young, and altogether unprepared to lead. Right. Uh, this might hurt a bit. Hold this for me, will you? I understand from your uncle that Lord Forrester saved your life. He did. Rather odd, though, that he chose to save you, his squire, and not his son, Roderick. Not that Roderick couldn't handle himself. He was as good with a sword as any man I've seen. It's unfortunate the Citadel doesn't train maesters in the art of Warcraft. Roderick had already fallen. There was nothing we could do. Hmm. Well, I'd imagine Lord Forrester would sacrifice himself to save anyone from his house. High or low. Lady Forrester will be here any moment now. I'd like you to walk for me first, to see if you can put any weight on that leg. Uh. Go on. Don't stop now. It's better to let the blood circulate. Asher. Exiled to Essos, unfortunately. Talia and Ethan. I suppose Lord Ethan now. Mira. Still in King's Landing, I suppose. Although, I wonder if they'll bring her home. Lady Forrester. She's always been kind to me. Treated me like I was a Forrester myself. Ryan. Never easy being a fourth-born son. Lord Forrester. It was an honor to squire for him. Gregor the Good. Roderick. He was our best warrior by far. Hmm. You seem to be favoring it. Always sad to see a warrior lose a leg. I, I'm fine, Maestro Tengren. Look, I'll show you. The Ironwood Grove. Rather cute little creatures, aren't they? I guess. Did your leg feel weak? No. I just wanted to ask you. Who is the new lord of House Forrester? Why, Ethan, of course. At the Citadel, I swore an oath to serve whichever noble house I was assigned. Advising the late Lord Forrester was an honor. Advising Ethan, his third-born son, is... challenging. There's still so much he has to learn, yet the very fate and future of this house rests in his hands. Which is rather frightening when you think about it. What will happen to me now? Excellent question. Hmm. Under normal circumstances, you could join Sir Roiland and his men. Although, given the circumstances of your... circumstances, it becomes a bit tricky, doesn't it? I suppose it will be for Lord Ethan to decide. Well, Lord Forrester promoted me. At the Twins, I... I'm no longer a squire, if that matters. 
It might, I suppose.